Cal Thompson has more. Almost the weekend. Had a great time at the party. My kids are so sale cute. at the House of Hair Salon. In today's online world, you can learn almost anything about anybody. My fish accidentally died and people were sending condolences. Kayla Mitchell is one of an estimated 300 million Facebook users. On her own page, she lists nearly 400 friends. Every single person in my friends list I know personally. Um, and some say, well, you have like how many people on your list? I know each and every one of them personally. Social networking sites like Facebook, MySpace, Twitter have revolutionized how we connect and interact with each other. But experts say be careful what you post and who you allow to see it. I know it's, it's good for social networking, but there's a lot of people out there that may be looking for it, to use it for other methods. Wichita Police Lieutenant Clark Wehmeyer works in the department's financial crimes division. He deals almost daily with identity theft. You want to be very careful when you open these things because they ask for things like your birth date your name, your address, your email address. It is a laundry list of personal details, reading much like an online credit card application. It doesn't take much for a would-be thief to fill in the blanks. Anytime you willingly go out there and put personal information out for the public to take uh, and observe, uh, you're putting yourself a little bit more at risk. Wichita police see on average 40 to 50 cases of identity theft every month, and not just in adults, children too. Oftentimes it is hard to know exactly how thieves get their information, which is why experts say limiting where it can be found helps keep you safe. There's also the issue of status updates. What I post on here can get all over the world in a matter of seconds. Twitter and Facebook both let you tell others what you're doing at that moment. With so much information available, police say the private aspects of your life should stay that way. If John Q. Public knows your address because you have it published in there and all of a sudden you're not at home and if they're looking at that site for that reason, uh, it wouldn't be wise to say, I'm not at home, I'm going to be on vacation for the next three weeks. Two simple rules to follow. Be picky. Restrict who can view your profiles by making them private except to close friends. And be smart. Don't post anything that could come back to haunt you. They are the rules Kayla tries to follow. If I know them in my personal life, then that's fine. But I think a lot of people are irresponsible when it comes to their networking, so you just have to be careful. Online at cake.com, you can find this packet for victims of identity theft. It's from Wichita Police, offering step-by-step -step instructions on how to begin repairing your name and credit, something that, unfortunately, can take much longer than the few moments a thief needs to ruin it. The potential loss or hurt to a victim just goes on and on and on. In Wichita, Kel Thompson, Cake News. A guilty plea in a notorious...